today's project. I want to install this Apex Turbo Timer. Um, I think I'm going to mount it basically right about here. On this, uh, on this car, it should be fairly simple. Uh, I got the wire uh, harness adapter. And for the Evo, this is the one that I got. Um, this, that's the brand. And like I said, the one I got as far as the turbo timer goes, it's just a, just a generic one, nothing special. Um, this is very similar to the one I had in my original Evo. Um, but this one is like black in color. My original one was silver. I do actually have a silver one that I bought that was used, but some of the wires are cut. So some of the wires going to the, uh, the ignition. So from what I understand, this should be a pretty straightforward, uh, install. Um, basically there's three wires here, uh, green, white, and gray, or I'm sorry, black, white, and gray. And the black, and I believe the white go to the ECU. Um, the black goes to the ground. The white goes to the O2 sensor. And by connecting that, you'll actually get the uh, air fuel ratio reading on here. And then the gray, I believe it's the gray wire, goes to the parking brake. So when you like lift up on the parking brake, it will, uh, it will automatically, um, or I'm sorry, when you disengage the parking brake, it automatically will turn off. All right, first thing I need to do is take this cover for the steering column off so that I can plug in this harness and from what I've seen at least on other YouTube videos it seems like this isn't quite as straightforward I might have to take this whole bottom cover off because from what I understand the plug is very kind of tight inside there and it's kind of difficult to unplug and then to replug the the new wire in so we'll see how that goes okay as far as installing this what I did notice is this little screw right here, if you undo that screw, you can pull this entire assembly out and it makes it a lot easier to actually get to the uh, to the release for this plug on the back side. So now I got this all hooked up here. Um, I'm not sure, I mean, everything, it's kind of hard to tell here, but everything is kind of tight in here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is feed this part of the wire, this part here to feed that through and connect the turbo timer to that side and then what i'm going to do is try to put the steering column bottom side back in just to see if if i'm going to run into any clearance issues with this harness in the way so i got that all but buttoned back up um what i was able to do too is uh i did turn on the battery again just to test it and it a start and everything so I didn't bypass or I didn't screw up the starter uh, or the start switch um, I think what I'm gonna do next is mount this mount this onto the dashboard um, what I'm probably gonna do this I think just sticks on I think it came with two-way tape so what I think I'm gonna do is first clean that off with uh, alcohol and then from there should be a good surface to uh, to mount that to. Okay, so I have the turbo timer mounted, got the steering column piece all back together. Um, this is the gray wire, and what I'm gonna do is feed that down all the way across. I gotta take this center console out to get to the parking switch, or the uh, e-brake um, e -brake switch. Um, the other two wires, the black and the the gray or the black and the white wires uh, connect to the uh, ECU um, to the the negative post or the negative one of the negative wires on the ECU, basically the ground wires, and the other one goes to the O2 sensor wire, which I believe was 76 pin 76. Um, I have the uh, I'll list the pin numbers um on the screen as i'm getting there so all right to connect the wire here i'm just going to use one of these kind of connections 
All right, so now those are hooked up. Um, what I did is for the ground, I uh, connected it to pin 26. For the um, O2 sensor, uh, it's pin 76. So now the only thing left is to run this back. I will have to disconnect the center console and test to make sure that I'm uh, splicing to the correct wire. Uh, but that's the next thing. So I'm just testing it right now. Um, I don't have the, as you can tell, I still got the whole uh, center console torn apart. But as of right now, that's my air fuel ratio. So I was wondering because like this one kind of bounces all over the place. It's kind of good to now have this so that I know uh, where exactly it really is. Everything works. So now just to put this all back together and I should be good and clean up, of course. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching.